What up everyone? It's KTG. I got the 2007 GSXR 600 here and I get it for a week. This is gonna be my experience. My thoughts, my little review. I'm a star right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry if I'm blind. I got the 360 camera in the back just for poops and giggles. And so let's get this baby going. I'm excited. This is actually the first time riding this season, May 17th, 2021. I haven't br brought out the, the 929 yet. So if you are not familiar with my channel, I own a 2001 CBR 929RR. Before that, I had a 06 600 double R. So this is going to be fun. I got to get acclimated with riding again. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't know why Ray trusted me with his bike, but he did, and I appreciate it, Ray. Um, yeah, if you don't know Ray, he's done a lot of rides with me. So let's go. I think we're ready. Let's do this. this is how I'm riding again. Oh, counter steering. Yeah, it feels so nimble. That two brother exhaust is annoying. I'm sorry. It's just so loud. I can't even hear myself think. All right, just got off the highway. I'm taking this on the full experience. I'm riding it to work right now. And it was a decent ride, it was a good ride. And I'm not sore or anything. It's my first ride of the season and this bike is loud. Look, it's a 16,000 RPM red line. So you gotta get it up there to feel the power. You gotta work it. You gotta work it just a little bit. Feel so nimble. These mirrors are small. They're like itty bitty, but they're nice that they have the, the turn signal lights on the other side. I don't know the true specs of this bike. Um, I'll probably put them up here when I'm at, during the editing. But it does feel lighter than my 929. Of course, it's a 600. Duh. But, you know, when it's in motion, it like the R1, the 04 R1 that I rode, it just felt so nimble. And then I had chrome rims. Yeah, I feel like I can do some damage with this bike. Yeah, I can throw this thing around. Get low, get low. Get low, get low. You really can't go wrong with any of the 600s, especially from the big four. I gotta thank Ray again for letting me borrow his bike. You guys see them in some of the other videos. Good guy, a great guy. Especially when he gets a couple of shots of Hennessy in him. This bike feels good. I miss my bike. I miss that power, but I feel like I throw this around in corners and stuff. Just get a little low. Not too low. Let's get low, baby. I like these tank grips, so I've never had any on my bike. It doesn't start waking up, I feel, so probably around like 10,000 RPM. I thought I'd be a little bit more nervous since it's like the first day riding this year and it's Ray's bike and it's not my bike, so I thought I'd be a little bit nervous, but you know, once you know how to ride a bike, you never forget. Yeah, it's always good to see riders out. I'm trying to keep it at a low RPM so I'm not annoying everybody. I smell marijuana. This is nice. This is, it's good to be back on a bike again. I must say, I smell mar mar marijuana. This is like, some wild hemp growing around or something. Uh oh, I spoke too soon. I'm starting to cramp up. 
I need to pull over. Oh man, spoke too soon about being comfortable. I stretch my legs out or something. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I uh, started cramping off my left leg. Mm, I need to drink some water or something. First day I did, this is what happens. My body's not used to it. Should have stretched out something. I was getting fat from the from COVID times and just sitting at home. So let's go though. It's time. Let's do this. Bike life! Bike life! Alright, I feel a lot better now. I think that's more of a conditioning thing, a stamina thing, me personally. But if you guys get like that all the time, sports bikes aren't for you. It's not for everybody. Get a cruiser, get a touring bike, get a sports touring bike. You know, meet out here and no one invited me? What the heck? This is what I miss about riding, just just going wherever and just getting lost. Literally, I get lost every single time. Cause I just try to avoid those same roads when I just want to see something else. He needs to fix this. Look at his engagement point. Look at that. It like right there. You can't even put your fingers. I I'm like a two finger person, two fingers. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I use two fingers to pull in the clutch, but with this, it hits my hand. Yeah, that's a, he needs to fix that. He needs to tighten that up or something. Gaslight came on, no! All right, let's go find a gas station somewhere. Uh, I needed this. I feel like amazing. Oh shoot, that's a gas station and I'm like hitting it. I should probably go there. Totally almost forgot that I needed gas. And these years, the bikes, they didn't have a fuel gauge, they just had the light. I think a lot of the newer ones have the light. I mean, excuse me, the fuel gauge, no? My uh, 2006 had a fuel gauge. Um, I don't know, it helped. I would try to fuel up before I knew the light was coming on. Versus, you know, filling up when the light comes on. I don't know, I guess it's the same difference. Just trying to catch it ahead of time. Oh, look at here. A gas in my station. All right, got some gas. Oh, look at that, $7.64. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think if I took this bike to the twisty 60s, I would do some damage. I would tear some shit up. I've only ridden the 929 at the twisty 60s, so I never bought my CBR 600 there. So I don't know how it would have done, but I feel like with the 600s, they're just so nimble. And on the other side of that area, downtown St. Paul, that is my ride. Um, I don't I like the bike. I mean, there's not anything that I really don't like about it. I mean, mirrors, they suck on most bikes. Gas gauge, these years, not a lot of the bikes had it. Um, obviously, it's a 2007, so it's going to be a dated. Just uh, your RPMs and your speed. I mean, it's not like a. The newer ones with the TFT displays. Oh man, you really don't look down here that often anyways. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pleasing on the eyes. Those TFT screens. But this is all you need. You, the bike. If you were actually in the market for one of these, I say you're not making a bad decision. If you're getting it for a good deal, I mean, like I said, out of the big four, you really can't go wrong. They're so competitive, their specs are so close. I mean, it's really rider ability at that point. Appreciate you guys watching all the way through. Subscribe if you had it, it'll help out the channel. Hit that like button if you found value in this video. So stay tuned, guys. It's KTG. 
612 See ya I'm a starter right